In this episode, I'm exploring in the United States with Edwin, how we find some old tanks and APCs, which are hidden in the forest of a military base. Hi, I'm Bob, an urban explorer, and with friends I explore the most amazing abandoned places worldwide. Back in the States with... That went. <laughs> it's gonna be a really nice road trip. The tanks which you see here are from the Type M60 A3 Patton. It was one of the world's most successful main battle tanks. 15,000 of these were produced and they served in 22 countries. It was the workhorse of the US Army for two decades. Perfectly lined up. You can go inside, I see. That's where the engine used to be. Took it out. This tank used to have a V12 engine with 750 horsepower and could reach up to 12 miles. 20 km per hour cross country or 30 miles per hour 48 km road speed. It had a range of 300 miles, 480 km. The tanks which are standing here have the three color NATO camouflage, which is black, brown, and olive green. The M60 entered service with the US Army in 1960. The improved M60 A3 entered service in 1978 and had a crew of four people. They were deployed in the Operation Desert Storm during the Gulf Crisis. It was the last tank of the Patton series and in 1997 the US Army phased them out to be replaced by the M1 Abrahams. Nowadays M60s are used by the US Army as targets for exercises. So like the, yeah, the famous one. I think APC it's called. Here you can see a bunch of heavily stripped APCs armored personnel carriers, which I believe to be a variant of the type M113. 80,000 of these were produced from 1960 to 2007 and they are still in use in some countries. These APCs could hold up to 15 passengers and go 68 km, 42 miles per hour. What a many? Uh, two, four, six, seven, ten, twelve, thirteen, ten.
climbing one. Dude, are these even open? Some are open. You can see there and that one, the green one. There. That one is open. Right? Yeah. Climb on. Bye bye. Hello. <laughs> Tanks are from 1969. Okay. I think I read M60 pattern. <laughs> Looks nice, you would sticking out. Here the shells are stored. And the grenades. Yeah, it doesn't really feel safe when you're driving with all those uh, shells next to you. Well, that was the big issue with the Russian ones, right? Oh yeah, they exploded all, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah and they blew the top off. Yeah. Let's go inside the tank. The main weapon is our 105mm M68 rifle gun with 63 rounds of ammunition. The coaxial weapon was a 7.62mm machine gun and a 12.7mm anti-aircraft gun mounted in the commander's cupola. The tank has two smoke generation systems, an engine exhaust smoke system which sprays fuel into the exhaust manifold and two six-barreled smoke grenade launchers which are fitted on either side of the turret. We check the interior of some other tanks to see if we can find some interesting details. The sun is setting and we need to go back before it gets dark. But before we leave, I find this artillery shell. Look here. Big bomb. Yeah, one. Might be more. Yeah. Time to go. 
Thanks for watching. Please leave a comment and a thumbs up if you liked the episode. And subscribe to our channel to see our future adventures. See you next week.